Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about invocation count in test engine. So we are going to discuss what is invocation count, what is the use of invocation count, right? So now suppose assume that if you want to perform specific test execution multiple times, or if you have a function that should produce consistent result when called repeatedly with the different inputs. So that time also we can use the invocation count. And also you might want to simulate heavy usage scenarios where functions or services called numerous time within a short period. These type of scenarios you can achieve using invocation count. So let's say I take a simple example of in Google. I just wanted to navigate to the Google page. Here I just going to search something inside that. Write a scenario and I'll show you how the invocation count is going to work. So now let me create a uh, test cases for that. So I can say public void. You can add a uh, method name. So I'm searching search Google. So inside that, I just wanted to launch the uh, web browser. I mean, Chrome browser I'm using. So web driver driver equal to new Chrome driver. So now here, we need to launch the, uh, navigate to the particular website so google i am going to search the google right so navigate to the google page driver dot here we need to call the method get method here we need to pass the url so i just copy this url and come over here so now after navigate to the google page we need to find the search element so driver dot find element by dot name i'm just using a name so it's true dot we need to send something so same case we have we are using i'm simply adding my phone price okay then after entering the keyword then we need to click on enter right so for that we can say plus keys dot enter so now i have written this way now this is a test ng test cases right so i can add a internet of test as well. so you can input all the packages for test annotation web driver and chrome driver packages we have imported so now i'm not added any invocation count over here the simple test cases i have written let me run this code and i'll show you that uh, how this is executing this is going to execute one time as usual after that we'll add an invocation count then we'll check it out see so now this code is working fine for one time Okay, it's working. I'll just close this. See now, come over here. You see, this is the past test cases one because we executed only one time with these test cases. Now, I want to add a, you know, uh, suppose I just wanted to check particular piece of code behave as expected when called multiple times. So, we can add an invocation count and we can check how many times if you want to execute, you can add over here. So, how to add the invocation count? Just come over here in the test at the rate of test. Here you can add invocation count. Invocation count equal to, we can add how many times you want to execute the same piece of code. You can add how many times. So now I'm adding it two times. So what happened? Two times the browser will going to open and it's going to search the same thing multiple times, two times. Okay. Let me run this and we'll see how this is working. That's going to execute two times. So this is the first one. See, this is the second one. So multiple browsers opening over here. See, it is executed two times. You know, if you see two browsers opening over here. So I'll just close this two browser. Now, if you see the same test cases, how many times we have executed? Two times. So, that test case count also coming into the past test case count is coming two times over here. Right. So, invocation count is in test ng actually refer to the number of times the specific test case is going to be executed during the test run. This concept is particularly if you want to check uh, reliability or, you know, if you want to check the performance and load testing this invocation count will be going to help us. So thanks for watching. Next video, we'll discuss others, another scenario with the different concept in testing.